Following Kayame, we arrived at the empty classroom to make our final preparations. She squinted her eyes, as if reminiscing about the past. ごめん she tightened her grip on the gun in her hand. <laughs> For the sake of everyone, there is no other choice. ケカクは。Wait, what do you mean dig down Sakaguchi alone? <laughs> Why the thing that I took him down? Nobody knows that I took him down. Only Mimito? Mamito, Mimito. That uh, vampire lady. Kimi mo Sakaguchi Nobu no shito. Boku no kanke o shitteru no. Wait, what? Eh. Mochiron shitteru yo. How do you know all of that? She paused. Sore ni. Sunaga Keiichi no koto mo shitteru yo. Yeah, that's my, that's my roommate. Wait, what? What is happening? How do they know all of that? So she knows everything, it seems. She fell silent. でも… <laughs> Alright, looks like all our sins has been forgiven. Trivial matters. Why is Nagakichi's death considered trivial? <gasps> hmm, could he be a part of that organization too? If a student's death is considered trivial, then who exactly is she trying to protect when she talks about protecting everyone? Furthermore, if she knows that Sunaga's death is connected to me, does she also know about Minamoto's situation? The pile of things I want to know is growing as tall as a mountain. <laughs> Let's not consider it for now. Kakitsubata, Soski no Naka de Kakuno Ziko Bubun or Tanto Stale Kara, Hokano Hito, the Oak no Joho Nigi Tail has it. Dikiba, Kanojo Kara Hokano Zei no Joho Kikidastai. What does that no cold over? できるだけ他の生徒に見つからないようにしましょう。裏山でやるわ。どうやって彼女を追い出すの？彼女がよくいる場所に何かを着て紙をするのよ。Wait, who was the one who I met in the library? Was that the piano girl too? No, 
She had long hair. Hmm. So, the music office. Put the music o f c e I am a s q u i n e d her eyes and looked up at the ceiling. But she got a message of Kaite Okara. She gave Kiva, so they own Gakus no Dogoka and Hatte Oite Kureva. Urayama Nitara, but she was Kimi Kara Hanareta to Colonia Luk Samurani Kakurete Ok. Kakitsubata got a lava at a cold or three. Dies over Konoke Kaka. Ansin Ste. 私たちにはこれがあるんだから。I glance at the gun in her hands.I really hope it doesn't come to that unless absolutely necessary. こんなことになるとは思わなかった。これは今ある秩序を守るためよ。みんなのためだから。I fixed the note on the piano in the music room and made my way to Back Mountain. Back Mountain was the door with a vast cemetery. I stood in the center of the cemetery awaiting the arrival of Kakitsubata. I am a hit in the nearby thicket of grass. As for Minamoto, perhaps she too was observing me from some corner. I positioned myself on a slightly elevated spot, allowing me a clear view of the surrounding below. If a Kitsubata were to come with others, I would spot them at a glance. The presence concealed here is not easily discernible. Of course, this was Ayama's idea. The thorough glow of the setting sun gradually faded. Leaving behind a crimson silhouette in the sky. The grass and trees amidst the mountains were a shroud in darkness, the relief swaying and silently drifting down. The evening sun cast its rays upon the tombstones, illuminating the now blurred inscriptions above. The tombstones seemed to connect to the past and the future, standing on the leaf strewn grass. Then, in that scene composed of the tombstone and the red glow, a delicate figure emerged. It was Amemiya Kukitsubata, who had come alone. Her head slightly lowered, and eyes revealing a hint of sorrow. Well, I guess she's thinking that she's going on the date, but knows the truth. She wore a worn out school uniform, sailor uniform, revealing a hint of the color of her skin underneath, like a flower blooming under the evening sun. She also noticed me. Kakitsubata held the note I had written for her in her hand. Jima ni taiko de kiru buki o mitsuketa to Sakaguchi nobu o hitori de korosta to yu shoko da to. Wait, what? What is this crap? I caught sight of her, of her pulling something out of her bag. It was a knife that reflected a cold gleam. That must be the weapon used to kill Sunaga Tsugi. I swallowed hard, my breath quickening. I didn't know how to answer her question. When I passed the note 
I only briefly glanced at its contents and hand prepared the response for being questioned. A rustling sound came from behind the bushes. I am emerged. She raised the handgun and aimed it at Kakitsubata. The lingering rays of the setting sun illuminated the Yami and the gun in her hand, creating a scene that was both beautiful and chilling. I was taken aback, surprised that she had taken out the gun right from the start. Was it because she saw Kakitsubata's knife? Kakitsubata's expression remained cold and resolute as she turned towards me and spoke calmly. Wait, what? この女は人魔よ。人間じゃない。でもあなたはまだ人間。私たちの側につきなさい。何? Yeah, Nani, I just got chills all over my body. そう来たか。Kakitsubata's gaze shifted towards the gun. Koi. She released her arms as if prepared to embrace the arrival of death. Ayami seemed to have some doubts and then took a step back. Kakitsubata did not let this brief hesitation pass and decisively threw the knife. The knife passed by me, leaving behind the sound of the air being sliced. I heard Ayami groan from behind me and turned my head to see the knife lodged in her right shoulder. Not far away, Amamiya Kakitsubata lifted her head slightly, her eyes deep and solemn as she stared at Ayami's direction. Alright, so she is the one uh, that they met at the library. Her hair is not long, but it looks like it's a bit longer. Okay. Like it's about to look at me. Wait, what? We have a gun! And that's not the knife, that's a shuriken, right? I watched Naruto, I know what it is. You can spin uh, the, this thing on your finger. I gazed at Ayami, observing her arm, stiff and deformed, yet it didn't hinder her from picking up the gun. Slowly, the barrel of the gun pointed towards Kakitsubata. Accompanied by her heavy breaths, I am pulled the trigger. The bullet slides through the air, piercing Kakitsubata's left shoulder, creating a ripple of blood. Kakitsubata merely furrowed her brow. Her expression devoid of any fear, as she retrieved another knife from her back with her left hand. Swiftly discarding the back, she raised the knife and charged towards Ayami with lightning speed. So, 
Okay, they both died. Ayame and Kagetsubata both collapsed to the ground simultaneously. <sighs> so, what do we do now? Let's do what we do best and dig some graves. Kakitsubata's wound was noticeably more severe as she continuously spat out fresh blood, staining her, her already tattered clothes, clothes crimson. Ayame pulled out a knife embedded in her right shoulder, biting her lip in determination. However, perhaps due to the effects of the neurotoxin, Ayame collapsed to the ground once again. At that moment, I noticed Kakitsubata's hand moving slowly. How could, it be? How could it be? Even the state, does she still possess the will to fight? Shigeyuki, kurose! Ayame urgently shouted at me. Akitsubata, while spewing blood from her mouth, seemed to be saying something, but it was becoming increasingly difficult to make out her words. I picked up the gun that had fallen to the ground. Just then, the sound of fluttering wings filled the air as Minamoto appeared. Alright, so the boss is here, both of them dies. Minamoto placed both hands on my shoulders. わらわから助言をくれてやろう。二人とも殺せ。こやつらはあまりに優秀だ。いずれわらわの邪魔になろう。下僕よ。直ちに留めを刺すがよい。I felt the weight of the gun in my hand, my breath becoming increasingly rapid. I am stared at me with wide eyes, while Fikitsubata weakly turned her gaze towards me. The time has come to make the final decision. I must make a choice. What should I do? I cannot feel both. Oh, come on, really? I can save. Let's see. Hmm. So what that I can save? She's the main demon. Well, I'm something like no, I'm not not yet. I'm not a main demon. But I almost died, but then I got revived. I am like a vampire, a Jew, or something. Okay, let's go with Kakitsubata. I pressed the gun against Kakitsubata's head. Sorry.あなたの組織を放置しておけば、もっと多くの無実の犠牲者が出てしまう。それは。Wait, wait, 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 what if she is not an organization? Why if that's an Ayami and the teacher in we are in some kind of organization? Oh my goodness gracious, I don't know so many things. Her body trembled slightly, a smile gracing her lips, and her eyes shimmered with an indomitable light. Then I closed my eyes. I pulled the trigger. After the gunshot, this delicate yet resilient flower withered in the sunset.
In the end, Kakitsubata's expression was so serene and peaceful. I collapsed to the ground, unable to find solace for a long time. Later, Ayami came to mind. I picked her up from the ground. She looked at me gently. ただ Oh, wait a second, where is that vampire lady? <laughs> Minamoto? Oh, okay, here she is. <laughs> here she is. Perhaps unable to bear witness to the scene, Minamoto swung his cloak. Her cloak? Wait, what? No, it's her, her cloak. It must be a type. And left. Yet, in that moment I felt as if she would never appear again. After the organization Sami, composed of students, was completely dismantled, three months have passed. I walked through the school corridor, gazing at the clear sky outside the window. On the basis of numerous students' sacrifices, the road collapses have been completely cleared. The harvesting of her summer rice is progressing smoothly, although about half of the students in the school lost their lives in this incident. New students quickly filled the void. Oh! Okay. Where there is death, there is rebirth, such is the way of the world. Regardless, order has now been restored, and all sacrifices have meaning. Somehow my amnesia has also been cured, although I still cannot recall what happened before that day in the abandoned carriage. But it doesn't matter, let the past stay in the past. What brings me the most joy is that Minamoto is no longer appearing. Initially, I thought she was still lurking in the shadows monitoring the school, but she never showed up again. I suppose it's because she must be disappointed in me. Anyway, in this vast world, there are prey for her everywhere. And then the strangest thing happens after one semester. Mr. Kisaragi and Mr. Sugi came back to life. Wait, what? They were living at the school as if nothing had happened. Why is that? Oh well, let's just forget about it. it seems complicated, but it's probably fine to think about it. Wait, wait, what? It seems like living without trying to understand the incomprehensible makes life easier. The sunlight filtered through the gaps in the trees, casting its glow upon me. In this moment, I feel the presence of life, filling me with immense happiness. Uh, maybe it was just a dream? Or maybe not?
Thank you for playing. You're welcome.